What is a doula? And how does it compare to a certified nurse midwife, such as Amy Ranke right here, a certified nurse midwife with Women's Care Florida. You are back. Yeah. I learn so much every time I chat with you. Oh, it's thanks. a whole new world. I'm happy that, to be here. Well, may, maybe a lot of people don't know what it is too. Doula, that's totally a word I have heard of, mm -hmm. but I'll be honest with you, I probably just acted like I knew what it meant and I really didn't. So yeah. explain what it is. Yeah, so a doula in Greek, it actually means to serve women, whereas a midwife means with women. Very, very similar, but we actually do have really different roles. So um, I kind of like to describe it as like a doula is a non-medical person that really their whole, their whole mindset is just to support the mom however they want. Um, whereas being a midwife, we are more of that medical professional and um, we are there um, to give you evidence-based information um, and same with doulas they do as well, but we just, we are definitely in a different role, but we can work really well together. Now, so. from you being on the show in the past, I do know as a midwife, you can work with OB doctors yeah. right there. Doula, same kind of thing? Yeah, definitely. So the mom um, actually hires the doula personally. So I kind of like to say, um, as a midwife or an OB, our, we at any point in time can have multiple people laboring. Um, we're also, when we're on call, we're answering our phones, doing lab work, tons of different things. And as much as like I love being in a labor room with someone, and that is um, one of the perks of having a midwife is we really like to be in the room as much as possible. If I have to leave for some reason and go out and check on another mom, that doula can stay with you and they can be that constant support person, which is huge in labor. Well, let's talk about how huge it is because I know you've got some numbers and even kind of decrease and explain yeah. some of the, the results and how people really can benefit from yeah. having a doula. So exactly, there's tons of t statistics. Um, a couple of the things is it does decrease um, your risk of having a C-section, it decreases your risk of um, needing an epidural, which isn't good or bad, but some moms do have a preference. Um, and it actually increases your success of breastfeeding, which is huge in the postpartum care. So um, one of the main reasons is just constant support, just having someone with you at all times telling you that you're doing a good job. Okay, so, so Amy, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put you on the spot right now because I missed the boat on both of those things. I'm very okay. open to a yeah. call. I had an epidural and I also had a C-section. How is it that a doula helps both of those things? Yeah, so just having someone there being able to um, tell you that like you're closer than you think and um, to be able to have this open conversation. I love as a provider talking with the doula, talking with the family and really getting on the same page. Um, having an epidural and having a C-section is a beautiful birth and that can be- um, Don't know really if I'd say beautiful. <laughs> Amy, I adore you. No, no, I, say, I have a beautiful daughter now. You but do. yes, but that is your birth story, and that's and that's wonderful. But um, for some moms, you know, who really don't want to have that epidural, um, yeah. having a doula who's there and giving them um, different positions to get in. So one of the main things is um, they are skilled in what birth looks like and um, how to use different tools, how to use the water, um, different positions to get in that can help with pain relief. Um, also, I hear. Um, um, so prior to becoming a midwife, um, I was a doula for seven years. And um, honestly, the dads liked it more than anything because they um, typically, um, you know, are scared and they're I, like, what's going on? Don't know what and they're doing. That was where my husband was like, I don't know exactly. what I'm supposed to and do. And so just having someone to reassure them, like, this is all normal. And like seeing your wife in pain is hard, but like this, this pain is for something and it's good. Um, so just having that extra um, voice of support is really all it is, so. Well, we know of course how we can of course have you help when it yeah. comes to labor and delivery through Women's Care Florida. Definitely. How can people get more information about a doula? Yeah, so one of the things is I say ask us, ask us providers. We've worked with doulas, we recommend um, doulas. Um, so definitely start with that because I know local doulas that I recommend. Um, also, word of mouth is wonderful, asking other moms who they like. Um, doulamatch.com is great too. And then just um, being online, um, you you know, just type in doula and um, wherever you live and a list of people will pop up. I always say read reviews um, and then just ask around. It's like dating or going to a it new is. restaurant. <laughs> you go to a website to be matched. I love yeah. this. Amy, you are always so much yeah. fun to have on and so educational. There's more information if you have questions for Women's Care Florida.